Hello, you can call me Mounts, and this is a tutorial over exporting rivet files into viz files. Um, I would highly suggest reading the help tutorial in both rivet and viz. Uh, they have excellent information there, but I'm going to cover the basics so that you can do this quickly. Um, first, you have to have your house, obviously, <laughs> in rivet made. Um, the first step to exporting it is to turn it into a 3D viewport. Click 3D here. We got our house in 3D. When you export it in a, in 2D, it, it will come into Viz as a 2D AutoCAD file. But if it's 3D, then it will come in as a, a actual model. So we'll go to File, Export, CAD Formats. Now, um, if you're using Autodesk Viz 2008, you want to export uh, your Rivet files as 2004 DWG. You don't want to use 2007. I don't know exactly why, but uh, maybe uh, somebody can comment why. Uh, anyway, after you save it, it will uh, export it and take a while. Then we go to Viz, and we will use File. Now, I've tried to import Rivet files, and there are a lot of problems with that. That is really not the route to go. The route to go is FileLink Manager. Um, and then you'll use you'll hit File. There it is, right there. There's our building. Open. Make sure that the preset rivet is selected and hit attach this file. It'll take a, a little bit, but uh, I might have a little faster than average computer, but um, especially if it's a huge project, it will take much longer. You can see that this is a very small house. Um, I want to navigate uh, and show you something. As soon as you import it, there are some problems. If you just import it with the basic settings, see this toilet? Uh, how jaggedy. It does not look very good. There are ways to fix this. Go to File. Go to File Link Manager again. And this time click on Files. Uh, there you can see your file that you have uh, linked. Um, hit Reload. Show Reload Options. Make sure that is checked. Whenever you hit it, more options will come up this time. Well nearby vertices. Um, I would leave this checked, but I wouldn't turn this threshold up too high. It will cause a lot of problems in the uh, that you might not notice at the beginning, and that can be a very big problem in the end. Auto smooth, I would turn it up a little bit, but I'm not sure what a good number is. Maybe somebody can comment on that. Uh, maximum service deviation for 3D solid objects. Turn that down to 0.1. I found that to be a really good number. <laughs> Curve steps 20. This will uh, increase the time it takes to to bring it in, but but it will uh, smooth out everything. Look at that. The toilet changed uh, to a, a pretty smooth. Oops. There it is. The wall's in the way. Uh, there. Um, our toilet looks uh, nice now. The uh, smoothing properties still aren't as good as it, it would be if you made it in Viz, but. It can save you a lot of time if you export and import this way. Uh, thank you very much.